Hello, I'm Dr. Ben Brees, Facilities Manager for the Spectroscopy Research Technology Platform here at the University of Warwick. Our RTP is focused on providing spectroscopic techniques to aid in material identification and characterization. These techniques are non-destructive and can characterize a wide range of materials, including liquids, powders, thin films and single crystals. All these techniques can be used to provide different information about the sample to help build up a complete understanding of the material. First up, we have Raman microscopes. Raman measures inelastically scattered light to provide information about the chemical structure, phase and crystallinity of a sample. This can either be done in bulk or with the aid of our microscopes, we can produce images of the distributions of material within a sample. We have four Raman microscopes in the lab. Between them, they provide excitation light from the ultraviolet to the near infrared, all of which can be equipped with variable temperature stages. To measure light emitted by a sample, we have our fluorescent spectrometer. The system operates between 200 and 800 nanometers and can be equipped with an integrating sphere to enable quantum yield measurements. As well as steady state measurements, the system is capable of measuring phosphorescence lifetime. Next, we come to our FTIR spectrometers. FTIR, like Raman, uses light to probe the molecular vibrations of the sample to produce a fingerprint to help identify the chemical structure. We have FTIR systems that can measure the absorption of bulk samples across a wide spectral range and have the ability to make time-resolved measurements. We can also produce maps of the MRI absorption of samples with our IR microscope, which can also be equipped with a micro-tipped ATR. Our final optical technique is UV-vis spectroscopy, which measures the wavelength at which a sample absorbs light. This can be used to identify defects in semiconductors or to quantify metal ions or organic compounds in solution using the Beer-Lambert law. This spectrometer measures between 180 nanometers and 3000 nanometers and at variable temperature. Our integrating sphere can enable measurements of diffuse samples or the reflectance of the sample. The last technique I would like to introduce is electron paramagnetic resonance, EPR. EPR uses microwaves to probe unpaired electrons and it can provide information about the chemical composition and quantities of paramagnetic species in a sample. We have two continuous wave X-band machines like this one, which are capable of measuring samples with variable temperatures and can be used to measure reactions in real time. We also have an X and Q band pulse spectrometer, which is capable of measuring spin relaxation times, as well as transient paramagnetic species. We have experienced staff on hand to help you with your research and several specialist fitting software and reference libraries to aid identification. We have come across a wide range of samples and experiments from researchers across the university and are happy to apply this experience to new samples or experiments. For more information, please visit our website or get in touch directly to discuss your experiments.